Contrary to popular belief, there is a growing second-hand market for electric vehicles. And here's a prime example. Former World Car of the Year and best-selling electric car in the world until the Tesla Model 3 said, hold my non-alcoholic beer. Buckle up to find out a little bit more about second-hand electric vehicles. Welcome to the Faster Project. <laughs> oh my goodness! Can I, please, can I drive? No. Please. Planet Earth is in trouble, and we need to transition to sustainable transport faster. So today, myself, Rick Bullermere, and leading battery electrochemist, Dr. Ewan McTurk, are checking out the iconic Nissan Leaf. Price, about £10,000 for this 30 kilowatt hour version. There is a cheaper 24 kilowatt hour version available for about £8,000. Battery, 24 or 30 kilowatt hour capacity, the facelifted version behind me has 40 or 62 kilowatt hour variants. Range, a solid 100 miles or 160 kilometers for the 30 kilowatt hour version, nearer 60 to 80 miles for the 24. Performance, an 80 kilowatt motor with 253 newton meters of torque that gets you from zero to 60 in 11 and a half seconds. It's actually faster than it feels. The 24 kilowatt hour Leaf has torque steer if you dump the throttle. Charging, either a 3.3 or 6.6 kilowatt onboard charger, which you use with a Type 1 cable, or for rapid charging, a 50 kilowatt Charimo socket. Beware the Vizio spec though, which doesn't have rapid charging as standard, in which case this plate will be blanked out and it will take hours to charge your car rather than minutes. The Leaf is a roughly golf-sized family car and the boot space reflects that, 370 litres with the back seats up and 680 litres with the back seats down. Whilst we're in the boot, a couple of points to make uh, when you're going to be buying one second hand, make sure you get both cables. So you've got your public charging cable, your Type 2 cable, and the so-called granny cable for plugging into a typical three-pin outlet. What else is in the boot? We have here Avon, our sacrificial chicken. Now, we're about to do a little turning circle test with the leaf, which has a turning circle of 10.4 metres. Let's see if we can get around this very tight hairpin. Hello, from the back seat of the Nissan Leaf, Ewan driving like a legend. Where are we off to, Ewan? Welcome to my car. We're off for a wee poodle around Glasgow today. Nothing too exciting, but it will show you what the Leaf is capable of. Now, let's get down to the bare bones of it. This is one of the most iconic electric cars because it was one of the first ones out there, wasn't it? It was. It was the first modern electric car to take it seriously, really. I mean, of course, there was the Tesla Roadster, but then there was the Mitsubishi i-Neve, which was a, a, a tiny wee thing, which is, is actually still practical enough, but the Nissan Leaf came along and was the same price, if not cheaper than it, and just smashed it out of the park in terms of size, tech specs, uh, creature comforts. You know, it, it really was just so much more for your money and still is today. Okay, so this, this is the, the sort of car that you would use for an everyday run around and that, you know, it's not going to cost the world, it's not going to cost loads, well it costs nothing in petrol because it's fully electric. Exactly, yeah. This thing was saving me about £1,200 a year in fuel tax and maintenance versus an equivalent sized four-door family car when I was driving a roughly 50 mile round trip commute. What's your favourite things about the Leaf? It is borderline indestructible. Try as you might, these things just don't die. In five years of Leaf ownership now, the only thing that's really gone wrong with it was the handbrake needed replaced. Other than that, it's been incredibly solid. The motor is probably good for about a million miles without any fault. I'll tell you what, this is the first time I've been in a Nissan Leaf. I've been in quite a few electric cars, but it's well comfortable. It really is. As Jack Scarlett from Fully Charged would say, this is a squashy boy. The seats are incredibly comfy. The suspension is probably more French than Japanese. It is quite spongy and it sometimes does rock a little bit when it comes to a halt at traffic lights. But yeah, it's a very comfy car. <laughs> you can feel go. it now. Here we go. It really is, is, is quite soft, squashy stuff. So it will kind of lollop over speed bumps and it is a, a very comfy car to drive. I've driven mine from Edinburgh to the Isle of Skye and all around. And I've driven them from Scotland to, to Milton Keynes. You know, you're talking several hundred miles 
and you actually feel surprisingly refreshed at the end of it because one, you're stopping every so often to charge because obviously it's an older car that needs to charge more and two, the seats are actually that comfy and it's that drivable. So I guess that's one of the things that stands out for electric cars, the, the whole driving experience is, is just effortless. It really is. If you are coming from an equivalent age of petrol or diesel car, if this is your first foray into EVs and you just want something that is cheap and reliable, this will blow you away. Uh, simple question, would you ever go back to a petrol car? Oh dear God, no. This is its just so much more comfortable, it's more reliable, I've never had it fail on me in a spectacular fashion and I know that reliably it's good for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles. I've just got so much confidence in this and as it gets older that's not going to change. And when you take it for its MOT, um, what are the general problems that you find with electric cars? Not much. It's basically a case of kick the tyres and say it's fine. They do occasionally need an oil change, but that's in the kind of fixed ratio gearbox. Um, you don't actually choose any gears on it, of course. You know, it's the it's just forwards or backwards. There's very, very little that can go wrong. So it's, it's, it's silly things like pollen filters and stuff. It's more of a service than an MOT. But obviously, you know, there, there will be things like suspension that if you rattle it over enough kind of dodgy streets will, of course, take its toll. But it's really not that bad. Um, they're just so reliable and I've, I've never had any issues at MOTs with an EV. So while the Nissan Leaf's getting a bit long in the tooth, it does have one very impressive party piece. Rather than just doing vehicle to load, where it's powering one device at a time, like a lawnmower or a TV or a fridge, your Leaf can power your entire house and even help to power the grid through vehicle to grid. And to do that, you need a special charger like this one, which plugs into the Charimo socket of the car and allows the charger to take power from your car's battery when the grid needs it or when electricity is expensive. So it not only helps to reduce carbon emissions of the grid, it helps to save you money. Chadamo CCS, what, what does all that mean? So when it comes to rapid charging, DC charging, what you have is a bit of a VHS versus Betamax thing that went on. So Chadamo, which was the Japanese standard of plug, um, which could do various clever things, including vehicle to grid, which we'll explain in a minute. And then CCS, which was the combined charging system, the European standard, which has Super won... fast in, an, in a nutshell. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, that said, Chadamo received some upgrades over the years, but they never really came to Europe. And that's why CCS has very much won that format war. Uh, that said, you know, you'll still find Charmo on uh, the vast majority of DC uh, chargers, including the ones that are going in for the faster project. A quick, a quick word, if you will, on, um, on the faster project, you and, and how it works and why it works. So as we head into the Clyde Tunnel by accident, um, the <laughs> faster project is all about installing 73 direct current fast slash rapid chargers in the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the west coast of Scotland. Those 73 new chargers are gonna fill some of the last remaining gaps in the UK and Ireland network, which is a, a fantastic initiative sponsored by Interreg. And on top of that, it's all about getting people into EVs as well. It's why we're telling you all about these new and used electric vehicles that you can choose from today to show that there's an EV for just about everyone. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Audi uh, RS8 wants to drag race. Do you think we can take it? That's the question, we're at the lights. It's a surprisingly peppy car. I mean, the 0 to 60 is over 10 seconds, but it doesn't feel it. She's not concentrating. I think we can take them. I mean, the, and, and electric cars have instant torque. Let's, let's remember that as well. They do. So you do get that straight off the lights. There's no lag, but it is an Audi RS8. And it's going to be in your rear view mirrors because this thing has a heck of a lot of torque backing up that 80 kilowatt motor. It puts its power down very quickly. So just whilst we're waiting on the lights, one thing to bear in mind is there's three levels of trim on the sand leaf. So you've got the Ascenta, which is this one. It's the mid-range. It's packed full of features, including the infotainment system, rapid charging is standard and so on. The Tecna gave you leather Oh, Ooh, see you later. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think we even got some <laughs> oh, wheel spin there. We certainly did. Who would best suit this car? Anyone looking for their first foray into electric vehicles who wants to own it outright rather than uh, PCP or lease it, have something to show for it, 
and be able to sell afterwards. That's what I did and I have no regrets. My first Nissan Leaf went from Edinburgh to as far north as the Isle of Skye and as far south as Milton Keynes. This one's got a slightly bigger battery um, which just makes life that little bit easier. But they are incredibly solid, incredibly dependable cars as long as you make sure that the 30 or 40 kilowatt hour models or early 24 kilowatt hour Leafs from Japan have a battery that's in good condition. Those are the ones that can be a bit tetchy at times then it's a car that will not let you down. Excellent, brilliant. So if you're listening to this and you're looking to find out more about electric vehicles or charging, then do hit the, the follow, like, subscribe and all that jazz and uh, follow, uh, follow our, our journey on the Faster Project mission. This project has been supported through the European Union Interreg 5A programme.